Hey everybody, get on in here. It's time for our tea party. Mine is still too hot to drink. Anyway, I have it. Get on in here. I'm letting it cool off. It's been raining cats and dogs here. We are under a, a severe thunderstorm warning. I think it's past us now. If it had lasted 10 more minutes, I wouldn't have been able to do the show because we had lightning popping everywhere. Let me get focused on my nose right there. Right there. Let me go right there. Anyway, it's tea time. Please share our videos. I'm only going to do one today because the morning, if I do it at 11 o'clock in the morning, it messes with church time and I can't do that. So everybody get on in here. We're about to get a hundred people per my counter. And when we do that, we will draw a little topic out of our teapot. So get on in here. Uh, the storm was really bad. Robert had to come in from the treehouse and yeehaw, yeehaw time. So let's see which I'm going to draw out of our little wise old owl today because I think I drew out of the teapot yesterday. But I'm going to dig down in here. I was, Wisconsin is one of my favorite places. Uh, I've got one right here in my little hand. Let's see what it says. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. We're going to talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D and sunshine. And it's not winter right now, but it's going into winter in South southern hemisphere depression and blood work so when was the last time y'all had any blood work done yeah you know what i'm talking about here we'll set my timer for 15 minutes about 13 minutes but we need to try to get our blood work done once a year and my doctor uh dr carly brown she orders my blood work. I go over to a, um, uh, a center where they draw my blood. They have good people on staff because my blood is hard to draw. It's really hard. And uh, somebody's saying something about Holy Hill. You t I've told you about our friends who can see Holy Hill in Wisconsin. Uh, I've been to Holy Hill. It's absolutely beautiful. If you've never had a chance to go to Holy Hill, do it. I, it was just amazing. Anyway, um, back to my blood work. There are some uh, veteran corpsmen, that's what they're called, but this is a lady uh, who draws my blood and she is absolutely amazing. She gets me with on the top of my wrist with a little butterfly thingy and she, it doesn't hurt. I don't have bruises all over me. She is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And Dr. Brown orders a vitamin D is one of the things we look at. Mine's usually on the upper level. It has been in my shoes, so I know what it's like to be depressed from, you know, a vitamin D deficiency. And vitamin D comes from the sun. It comes from the sun. So if you can get out and get in the sunbeam without too much sunscreen on, and don't stay out long, but just get out into the sun when you can. We don't have any sun today. It's, it's kind of nasty here today. But if you can get in the sunbeam every day, it's going to be good for you. Supplementing your vitamin D is good too. I believe in it with all my heart because if I hadn't gotten my vitamin D levels back up, I would have stayed depressed. So, but my doctor prescribed it for me. So go to your doctor, talk to your doctor about these things. Uh, getting out into the sunshine, now it's a beautiful time of year to do that. You know, we're, 
getting into winter in the Southern Hemisphere. You still got some sunshiny days though. And get your blood work scheduled. Mine's scheduled for July. That's when I get my physical in July. So please take care of yourself. Spend some time, you know, call your doctor, get an appointment, talk to your doctor about what's going on with you. Do you feel bad? You know, look at the things that, uh, look for, uh, let's see, I pay a hundred dollars a month to have access to my doctor. And when I was sick back in April, I didn't even have to go see her. She's talked to me on the phone and said, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. And if that doesn't work, you have to come in and see me. So <laughs> we, I did what she said and I got well. So it, having a doctor you have access to, she does a direct care practice. She has two doctors in her practice and they only have, um, all she wanted was 500 patients, but there's direct care practices all over the country and they are worth every penny. It's not a concierge practice where you have to pay this big lump sum. She bills our credit card every month and it is wonderful to have access to her. And if Robert's doctor ever retires, he said he's going to do it too because Dr. Brown is right there. We don't have to go through some answering machine that drives us nuts. Punch one if you need this and ugh, nope. I can send her an email and it is, it is absolutely wonderful, wonderful to get in touch with her. I, she, she refills my prescriptions too at cost and ships them to me plus the shipping. And I get, and all I take is a blood pressure medication. So I'm feeling like when I get the weight off of me, that that will have to be changed a little bit. But there are doctors like this all over the country. She is part of many people who are doing this because, and I have health insurance. So if I go in the hospital, I have the ability to be able to pay for a hospital stay. But having her readily available to me is wonderful, wonderful. So get your vitamin D levels checked. If they're average, that's great. If they're a little above average, that's good too. If they're going, if they're way below average, like in the 15th percentile, your chart will show all that. You may need supplements. Yes, I'm liking the new book I'm reading. It's Eat to Beat Disease by, by William H. William W. Lou, M.D. Leanne told me about this book. She said, get it in a hardback. I've got it on the Kindle, too. And, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot. So, I didn't do um, a musing this morning. I didn't do a video this morning. Because it's Sunday. Because it's Sunday. And, you know, we've been going through body clutter. And I ate Chinese last night, so I gained a little last night, but I didn't eat any soy sauce and I didn't eat any rice. I did real well with all of that and it was good for me. I've not been happy with what's going on because I've been drinking my water, probably not as good as I should have because I'm charting everything and I can see when I'm not drinking my water because I don't write it down. And... I've got to get, tomorrow I'm going to start drinking my water. So you, if your vitamin D is eight, you need to check and see what that level is. I keep, I keep my blood work in a folder, Look, one that has the little metal things in it. And I keep all my blood work. I print it off and put it in so I can see how I change uh, from um, year to year. And sometimes we just need to learn to take breaks. A lot of times, um, I've read a book once upon a time about 
a good way to cleanse your thyroid and a bunch of stuff is to just learn to relax, relax. And this doctor mentioned that um, if you would, he, he used an example of a patient he had who had thyroid problems, bad thyroid problems. Her thyro thyroid was low. Now, what happens with thyroid, the T2 and T3, or three and four, I can't remember which it is, but your body makes an isomer, a mirror image of that molecule. And the way he described this to me is the isomer of that, that molecule is like a key for a lock. It's, it's the same, the same blank that goes in the key slot. But if it's an isomer, it won't turn the cylinder to unlock your thyroid. So he described to me a lady whose husband was in the military and they got sent to Hawaii for two years. And during that time when she was in Hawaii, her symptoms from her thyroid issues disappeared. And here's what he related to that. They would get up every morning, do their housework and stuff and get things ready to go into the crock pot so that they would have something for dinner and they would go spend all day at the beach. If you live that close to the beach, then they were going to take advantage of being that in that proximity to fun, water, sun and sand. And so she's getting her vitamin D or kids are getting her vitamin D. They are relaxed at the beach. She's got her summer reads. It's summertime all year round, practically. And she was on vacation for two years. Even though she wasn't, she, she practiced her routines as if she were on vacation. So take some time to turn your everyday home into a vacation getaway. Make it comfortable where you're not under stress at home because stress reduces those levels in your body. So back off of some of the stressful things you're doing to yourself and you know what it is. It's called perfectionism. Perfectionism really plays havoc with your body in more ways than one. So let's let go of our perfectionism and learn to do some stretches, some simple things to, to take care of your everyday health. I'm drinking my tea. This is my fat burning tea, I like to call it. And I learned this from, uh, from Dr. Lee. He taught me about mixing these teas in order to close up the capillaries that are feeding my fat. And I came up with the whole, you know, you know, every time we lose weight, we always gain back to the weight. We don't get rid of those fat molecules and we don't get rid of them because our blood supply is going to them. So if we can cut the blood supply off to, to our fat cells, we might actually get rid of some fat cells. Imagine that. That'll be fun. So drink up, everybody. Mm. This is Earl Grey and matcha and oolong and let's see, a jasmine tea. I like the jasmine tea. It smells good. So y'all have a good day. Oolong, Earl Grey, jasmine, and matcha. I learned the tea trick from a TED talk by this same doctor. So look him up, William W. Lee on TED Talks and you'll find it. And you'll, you'll see what he talks about. It, it was like an eye-opening experience for me when I heard that because it just made my mind go nuts thinking about that's why we can't lose weight and keep it off. That's why we have so much trouble 
I, you may not be a tea person, but I'm not either. But I was determined, I was determined to have tea every day with you so I would drink it. Because if I set up a tea time for you to be here with me, then I would drink the tea. And so far, I've done it. I've done it. I've been on with you. I will do it for you, but I won't sit and do it myself. What does that say? I got to do it for somebody else. So there's our 15 minutes. Yes, being accountable to somebody else is a good thing. Please share our videos. Leanne and I talk about thyroid issues in our book, Body Clutter. Because she has thyroid issues. I don't have them. I don't have thyroid issues. I, my thyroid levels has always been good. I've learned to meditate and calm myself. And I mean, I'm, I'm good that way. Well, y'all have a great day. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Bye.